let's face it, there are many issues facing high schools today, and faculty and administrators are constantly searching for ways to create enriching environmental environments where all stu student learners can be, be, su be, su be successful. However, that's an often like a key piece to a high school puzzle, inclusion. According to Lula Dan McManus, inclusive education is where all students, regardless of any personal challenges they may have, are placed in age-appropriate general education classes that are in their own neighborhood schools to receive high-quality instruction, intervention, and support that enable them to meet success in a core curriculum. The transition from a middle school to high school can be difficult, can be difficult for any kid, but I'm not just any kid. I'm a student with special needs. I learn, but I just learn different, differently from other, most other students. I've always had modifications that ensure that I am I'm learning to learn to my fullest potential. Yeah, there's another important component that leads to my overall success. I'm a current Metis Valley high school, high school student. Metis has a, is a high school that has a policy of inclusion. According to Thwanga Yakubitaj, approximately 50% of the world's population, or, or an estimated 1 billion people, live with disabilities. A large percent of, of our population is being underserved. UN Special Rapporteur on the rights of persons with, with disabilities, Katinia Devanis Aguilar, noted that a key factor for preventing the inclusion of disabled youth is the ongoing discrim discrim discrimination against and segregation into special schools and, and institutions. This is where our solid, creating a solid, clear inclusion policy comes in. Social exclusion prevents young adults with, the, with disabilities and, and or with no disabilities makes them blocked from or deny full access to various rights, equal opportunities, and resources that are normally available for all young adults that are trying throughout their lives just to find these various rights, equal opportunities, and resources that they're going to need in order, if, in order for them to succeed in, in the 21st century. Going back to my experience, I've dealt with the same issues that apply to other student learners with, with disabilities. These are students who are often defined by their genetic and perceived limits. In an inclusive environment, everyone is getting access and opportunities for learning. Dr. Eccles, the principal of Matei Valley High School, says that students will learn better when they are working together. In a collaborative environment, collaboration and a sense of fitting in and finding one's way are not the only benefits of inclusion. According to a special education teacher, Mrs. Stoller, the biggest benefit is that inclusion helps people to understand how to interact with different people being a real world skill. Of course, there are challenges to creating and implementing an inclusion policy in a school. One of the most commonly reported concerns and sch is scheduling for both students and teachers. Dr. Eccles points out the struggle is to meet all students' needs while ensuring that he or she graduates on time. This process, uh, this is, Ms. Stola feels that the greatest challenge is creating a least restrictive environment and, and basically we have to ask ourselves what does that mean? What does that look like for, um, f f f for all of our students and for our school? The goal is to create an appropriate environment for all. This, which is why general education teacher Ms. Basic says, it is important to put procedures in place so everyone is supported. That consists, consists of parents, teachers, and students.
I implore those in schools to change their minds and hearts, to change and to make the schools more inclusive, I, and to eliminate the isolation that some many students face in school. It is now time to create a solid, clear inclusion policy that can be embedded to any school environment. As with, as with anything new, there will, be, there will be trial and error. This policy su suggests that working to get, to get, together with other schools and educators that have done inclusion before. Inclusion always leads Inclusion will always lead to positive outcomes. Inclusive schools create a sense of accountability and community. In the short run, there are positive social changes and a, and a long term success that includes academic and athletic achievements as well. During the process of implementation of inclusion, remember, according to Ms. Bostic, any unsafe inclusion is better than none.